How's it going? So uh, today we have a five things list because it's Monday. And uh, first off, though, I want to apologize. I didn't forget about the Urban Abandonment Challenge. Um, I originally had in mind to do the uh, pictures for uh, the meet from June 2nd. I was going to go up there first to go do that. But unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to go up there and take pictures of the place beforehand. So I didn't have a place of mind here, so I have, I have yet to find a place. But uh, other than the mall that I stopped at for it, for the original ones I put up. But uh, yeah, the I haven't forgotten about it, guys. Um, if you guys have videos already, I know I've seen some of them. Uh, just go ahead and put them down below. I'll start making the playlist together for it. But, uh, yeah. Keep putting those in if you haven't. Um, today's five things list, though, is going to go coincide with uh, last week's list. So last week's list was the first five mods that I did to the car. So, um, this list is basically things you should do with every car. But there's a one specifically you should do with this car, period, from the start. And uh, you guys can guess what that is later. And I have it done to the car, I just haven't mentioned it before because it's a small mod. Anyways, first thing on the list is wheels and tires. Any car you get, you should do wheels and tires first because you have to control the power that you have. Now, the power that I have had before. I would still break traction doing a 20 roll and from a dig. And let's face it, you're going to be able to break from a track, uh, break traction from a dig in most cars. But wheels and tires are a big starting point. So go a little wider, not necessarily in diameter, but go wider width wise. So it's like for uh, my wheels, I went from 20 by 8s to 20 by 9s. And in tire size, I went from 245s to 275s for all around. So that's the first thing on the list. Second thing, lowering springs. Lower the center of gravity of your car. You'll be able to stick to the road better. You'll get more uh, traction out of it. And uh, it'll just give you that downforce from the wind to keep it down and going so you get more grip. Uh, third thing sway bars so sway anti-roll bars so with the anti-roll bars it keeps the car stiffer and it doesn't allow the body to roll through a turn it kind of keeps it flat planed as much as possible and allows you for more grip now uh, that is more for track cars but I think any car would really benefit from that, period. Doesn't really matter what it is, but I think any car would benefit from that greatly. Uh, fourth thing on the list, and this is really specific to this car because these Hemis like to run cool. So, third thing on my list is a 180 degree thermostat. That was the second thing I put on this car. The 180 degree thermostat really helps cool the engine of the car. So the cooler the engine, cooler the engine, the better. And uh, as for number five, if you're adding anything, changing anything on the motor, of course you're going to need a tune. So number five on the list would be a custom tune. I would start with something simple like a, a custom tune from Hemi Fever Tuning, uh, J Green, Diablo Tuner. I would just get a Diablo Sport, Sport tu Tuner and do that. So with the tuner, yeah, you can leave it everything stock engine wise and still get a good tune out of it, which would help. And uh, I think it's re really helpful my responsiveness with this car. and makes it that much more fun to drive and it feels like I'm driving by cable and not by electronics but uh, 
those are the five things list today, guys. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hardly ever do that. So thank you guys for joining. If, you know, if you're new, hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.